What's good, everybody? It's 313 JMO. Before I start this video, disclaimer. If you don't think we should draft a running back, or if you're not even open to exploring that option in the first round, don't watch the rest of this video. Because I'm about to go off on you dumb fucks. I'm sick of y'all, bro. Shout out to my boy Darius Gomabi, because my boy Darius Gomabi, he is, he's like, man, I don't want to uh call people stupid and call them idiots and call them dumb, but y'all niggas dumb. And y'all are, y'all dumb as fuck. You know, uh, I ain't even the biggest Charlamagne fan, you know, he alright. But he always say, we gotta give people credit for doing great, and we gotta be give people credit for stupidity. And I just want to let you know... To all the people out there, I'm not attacking anybody or anything like that, so don't don't think that shit. But oh my fucking goodness. What the fuck is wrong with y'all? Let's start. Tell me guys, watching this video, what are the Detroit Lions the worst at? I'll wait. Did you think of it now? Did you think of the second worst running game of all time? Tell me this. What position on our team, besides running back, could have an instant impact for a team that's trying to win now? We're not rebuilding. We're not trying to build a team. We got our squad. We got our guys. Just need to fill in some holes. Answer to that is linebacker. Unless... I damn sure I think getting the corner would be the dumbest fucking thing we could imagine in the first round. But unless that corner is Marshawn Lattimore level, linebacker. Because linebacker, besides running back, is literally our biggest need because we have one good linebacker. He's a fucking rookie. Okay. Let's keep going. You want a defensive tackle. You want a DN. <coughs> um... I like Arden Key. Maybe I'll be okay with getting him. I like Vita. Vita Vea. I'll be okay with getting him. But tell me. Maybe Arden Key. I don't know about Vita Vea. <laughs> you tell me, man. Are they going to make an instant impact for a team that's trying to win now? Or are they just going to be role players with not that much impact? Like, seriously. Ashawn Robinson, in my opinion, had a great rookie season. All them bad at balls, and he did have an impact, but it wasn't that much. And Ashawn is a second round pick, but I'm just saying, like, are you sure these guys are gonna have an instant impact? If they're not gonna have an instant impact, then don't fucking talk to me, bro. We trying to win now. Like, the fuck y'all talking about now? We ain't waiting. Like, we got our fucking squad. Fuck y'all trying to build a team for when we trying to win now, man. This is the, y'all are dumb. Stupid ass Lions fans, stupid ass people. Now, if you say we should get a linebacker or maybe a, the two defensive tackles I mentioned, you know, I'll be like, okay, but we still need a running back. I'm not going to say you're stupid and I'm not going to attack you. But it's just like all of the rankings. What are we worst at? Running the ball. So why wouldn't we get that in the first round? I'm going to say it again. What are we worst at? Why wouldn't you feel your biggest need? People are like, that's not our biggest need. You know, we need a pass rush. And, uh, you know, we, we need this and we need that. Really? Do we? Do we? So, we need a pass rush more than we need a running game. Is that what you're telling me right now? Seriously? Seriously? No, I'm going to say it again. Is that what you're telling me right now? Like, this shit right here, man, I just can't understand people. You know? Our situation with our D-line was injuries and Bob Quinn not putting enough money in it. Now he knows he fucked up, so he's going to put money in it. And, like, uh, I think his name, uh, he be on my videos, man. Shout out to you, Wayne361, but I'm sorry you said the dumbest shit ever. Well, you typed it. Like he said, he asked the Lions fans. He said, "When would the Lions ever? Uh, when have we gotten a? When has a team gotten a first round running back and actually done something?" And that was like his reason for us not to get one. So then I was like, Leonard Fournette. 
And I was like, Zeke and Ty Gurley would have had much better uh, impacts and careers on, like, big wins and playoff games if they had Stafford instead of Dak Prescott and jerk fucking golf. Then he said to me, Fournette numbers are only, um, they're only, they're inflated because he's the only offensive option. Then he said to me, Zeke and Gurley, they would not be the same in this offense because it's a passing offense. Bro, what? What? This is the shit I'm talking about. People, look, I'm trying to, you know, go into this, like, sports media to, like, get a type of degree type stuff. People, they just talking. They don't know football. They don't know sports. So, four net numbers are inflated? So, was Zeke numbers inflated? What about Tyler Gurley's? What about Kareem Hunt? What about Le'Veon Bell, who got 330 fucking carries? His numbers are inflated? That's the dumbest shit I ever heard. Trying to belittle somebody's production by saying they their numbers are inflated because they're the only option. How the fuck do you sound? And like I said, Wayne, I'm not attacking you. I'm talking about people in general because I'm, I'm sure you're not the only one that thinks that. Like, look at New Orleans. The biggest passing offense in the fucking league. Got a running game. Oh, we don't need to pass no more. Let's give it to Mark Ingram and Kamara all day. Because that's all we need to do. We got a running game with Stafford. We ain't about to be slinging that bitch all around all day. Because we don't need to. Just hand it off to the running back. And let him do his thing. You know, what we saw from Tom Brady only happened because they couldn't run the ball and they were down. But I've seen the Patriots run the fucking ball and Tom Brady just get in the end. Like, not in it. Get it? I mean, I've seen and Tom Brady just, you know, throw the touchdown pass when they get all the way to the line. You know, the goal line area. You know, red zone. It's just like, I'm sick of y'all, bro. Like, for real. Now, let's continue talking about these running backs. Um, Personally, if we somehow could trade Riddick or Abdullah or somebody. I love Golden Tate, and I really don't want to trade them. But maybe Golden Tate, so we can maybe like a fifth round pick, because I think we got five rounds. So we can get another pick in the second round. Because if we're not getting a running back in the first round, which I think we should do, I'm all for uh, getting Nick Chubb and uh, Sony Michelle. And I'm all for uh, like getting them both in the second round because I like I like them both. I like Sony Michelle better because like Nick Chubb, like he he's a beast. But he was Ty Gurley's backup. Kind of makes me think he's not better than Ty Gurley. And also, uh, Sony Michelle against the top defenses, Alabama and all these other guys, and uh, Auburn, like he chops them the fuck up, and Nick Chubb gets shut down. Maybe they keying in on Chubb. But I'm not really calling that excuse because I'm no. Sony Michelle chops niggas up and he's fast as hell. Uh man B said he was like Tevin Coleman. I feel like he is like Tevin Coleman, but I feel like he might be better at he's faster. Tevin Coleman has much more power. Might be better at catching and shit. But Sony Michelle is a special player. Um, I want Darius Geis or Goose, whatever how you say his name. Um, or what's his name? Uh Freeman. Or the guy from Oregon. I can't remember his name. It's, it's leaving my head right now. Because I feel like, besides, you know, Saquon, those two are the best running backs. And maybe they'll be gone by the time they get to us, which is why we wouldn't take a running back. But if one of these top running backs, you know, because Nick Chubb, to me, isn't necessarily first-round pick. I like Rashad Penny. But it's just, like, our biggest need. And every time the Lions have drafted a running back in the first round, he's been a beast. Job at best. Was ended by concussion injuries. Barry fucking Sanders. Do I need to say more? And all of these first round running backs, I said it, man. All of them are better than the other stories. Like Kamara was a beast. And you know, some people might know I kind of like Kamara a little bit more than Fournette. But I'm mean, after seeing Fournette more, Fournette's a beast. Fournette better than him. Zeke, whoever was drafted in the later rounds after Zeke, ain't none of them better than Zeke. Gurley, whoever was drafted in the later rounds, ain't none of them better than Gurley. Now, great running backs like uh, Derrick Henry, Dalvin Cook, only he's, he only got drafted late because of stock fell because of, you know, some other off-field issues. And, like, Le'Veon Bell, they're great second-round picks, man. But I just feel like we got to stop skimping. And that's what I'm calling it. Skimping is, like, trying to get by. The Lions is the type of team, if you don't have a proven running back that's a beast, they're not going to work out here. You know, a lot of people might want to get Carlos Hyde or – Dark, uh, excuse me. It's some, it's some other pieces out there. 
But I feel like if you're not like if you're not a big name when you come to Detroit, you just don't succeed. That's been the mo. I mean, the team is changing. You know, the quarterbacks coach just got fired. You know, remember I was saying I want everybody fired. It looks like everybody getting fired, and I'm very happy about it. Um, but like they just don't succeed. That's why you need somebody a proven commodity, somebody who, who like you know he good because he can succeed here because with the way our schemes and shit has been, the team has been. Ain't nobody been able to succeed, but the way that the team is going to change, maybe that will change. But you just you can't give me a good reason why not to get a running back. I ask you, what are the Lions worst at? Like, why not get a running back? Because there's other talent in the second and third and fourth round. But is that talent better than the first round running back talent? And they're like, well, we don't need the world beater. We don't need the best running back. Available. Yeah, all right. I'm just tired of this. I'm tired of this shit, man. Because that's how you get Amir Abdullah's in the second round. By skimping. Man, you know, I'm very upset with y'all. Y'all don't want a running back. I just don't understand. Like, the second worst rushing attack of all time, and you don't want a running back. Teon Green ran a running back room. He's an undrafted fucking rookie. You don't want a running back in the first round. Like, what defensive player outside of a linebacker is going to have an instant impact on this team that's going to help us win a playoff game? None of these motherfuckers. Like, get the fuck out of here. And that's what it's about. Minnesota just want a playoff game, and oh, I love to see them get fucking embarrassed. It was the greatest feeling. Like, I hate the Packers more than the Vikings, but that was a way greater feeling than last year when the Packers got killed because I knew the Packers were going to get killed. Minnesota, I knew. That I said the Eagles were going to win because people keep underestimating them. Super Bowl coming up, they underestimating them again. I'm not going to say they're going to win. They, if they had Carson Wentz, I would say they would win. We don't know. But, like, I enjoyed them getting their ass beat. But I'm just sick of this shit, bro. And I'm sick of y'all. Y'all fucking dumb. And y'all idiots. Watch the Lions. If they don't get a first round pick, watch that second round pick or third round or fourth round pick not be what we wanted him to be. Unless he's Rashad Penny, because I think Rashad Penny is the beast. Oh. Uh, my point is, these other guys won't be better than the guy in the first round. And the way that our team is set up, I just feel like we need some a proven animal beast to put with Stafford. Can't just put him. With these other guys. I mean, Nick Chubb is good, but I, I'm telling you, I just don't, I don't believe in Nick Chubb. Like, I just looked at some of his highlight. He looks great. It's something about him that's just telling me, like, he's not the dude. Uh, Sonny Michelle, you know, I definitely don't want Ronald Jones. Hell no. He's 195 pounds. Get the fuck out of here. Like, he can get bigger, but no. Um, I want my dude from Oregon, you know, or my dude from LSU, Darius. Like, straight up, like. Tell me a good reason not to get a running back in the first round. And I don't want to hear this. This other good talent in the other rounds. Excuse. How the fuck do you sound, bro? Like. Why not get a QB in the first round if we needed a QB? Well, you know, a lot of QBs will fall in the second and third rounds. That's how y'all sound. QB is completely different from running back, but that's how y'all sound. There's a difference between a first round fucking QB and a second round or third round. There's a difference between a first round running back and a second or third round fucking running back. Do y'all not get this shit? Like I said, look at Fournette, look at Zeke. Who's girly? Who better than them? Nobody. That's my point. Even these other stories around the league, they're not better. And for us to win a Super Bowl, I want the top. I want the best. I'm tired of not getting the best and settling for this weak shit. Because that's what we've been doing. We finally got a linebacker. Should have got one in the last fucking five drafts. Finally, Jared Davis. Like I said, Les Tremaine Edmonds is there. Or maybe Vita Vader or Arden Key. Okay. But we need help. To me, I'm honestly, in my, my honest opinion, if it's not a linebacker, we should not. Only a linebacker. Because the linebacker is the only need that is, like, desperate. Like, you don't understand. Matt Patricia is coming here with his Patriot system. That Patriots defense is not more talented than us. They garbage. But look how they play. And I'm just saying, Matt Patricia can maximize our talent. Like, these, these guys got a sacks in a playoff game, and you don't even know nobody on their defensive line. You can't name me one fucking person. Ziggy, an uh, injured Ziggy, in my opinion, is better than all of them defensive linemen. All of them. 
And that's the interesting thing. Is he got healthier? We saw he still got it. Like we got way more talent on our on our squad. We still got Kerry Hyder, and we still got Zeto, and we got other players developed. I'm telling you, somebody else is gonna be turning to be a Valoel or a Led better. You know, some one of them. It's just like I'm sick of y'all, bro. Like, give me a. I want a legit reason why not to draft a running back. And I don't want you to tell me because it's it's talent elsewhere. Like, give me a reason. We're thirty second. It's the worst thing on our team, but you don't want to feel it in the first round. Please. Give me a legitimate reason why everybody that's watching this video. Because I can't find one, bro. I'm like, yeah. Y'all know I'm a Stafford lover. I got on my fucking Stafford shirt. And I'm sick of it. I'm sick of Stafford getting this subpar bullshit. And then taking all the blame when he carrying a bunch of garbage motherfuckers. Give him some goddamn help. Stop giving help to the fucking defense. Because the defense ain't going to do shit for us. In the end. Unless they're Seattle. Remember, I remember I asked uh, King and uh, Man Beast and Mobby and some other people. I was like, would you rather Stafford be on the game-winning drive against Tom Brady? Or would you rather our defense be in a position to stop him? Oh, we saw that. How that shit worked out, didn't we? Jaguars. I mean, look. I'm not going to talk about their defense. Cause the Jaguars, I mean, they stopped the Patriots like three times in a row. Eventually, they're going to break. But at the end of the game, and I mean, they had great field position. But at the end of the game, Brady versus that fucking defense. And what has Brady done his whole career? Carved them the fuck up no matter who the fuck they are. And look, besides New York, I mean, he, he scored on New York. He missed a pass to Welker, but he scored on New York in that uh, other Super Bowl. And Like, and guess what? Blake Bortles came out, had a chance to win the game. So you telling me you would have rather our defense been in the position to let Brady score on them? Like, just imagine if that was Matthew Stafford coming out, bro, to go win that fucking game and go to the Super Bowl. You telling me he wouldn't have did it? Get the fuck out of here. That's my point, bro. That's my point. And you and you see how Fournette was carrying Blake fucking Bortles through the playoffs? Sometimes people need help. Stafford don't need to be carried, but he need fucking help. I'm sick of this man not getting no help. And people are like, we give him all our money on the offensive side because the offensive side has been carrying the fucking team, and they will continue to. Even if we become a defensive-minded football team, the offense will still carry the squad. The Patriots have a top fucking defense. They have always had top defenses throughout the years. Sometimes, I remember, uh, I think when they won the Super Bowl, they had like the number one through five defense. I don't know, remember, but they had a top five defense. We're still running. I mean, that's back when Tom Brady was a little nigga, but we'll still run the team. Patriots number one offense. I don't care how good their defense. If their defense was number one this year, they still would have been number one offense because who leads the squad? The fucking quarterback, unless you got an Aaron Donald. Or two Darius Slays or a Earl Thomas Camp Chant. Like, unless you got a star studded Jaguars, Minnesota fucking, and still even with Minnesota defense, I would say a quarterback run shit. Like, this video long as fuck, because I'm sick of y'all. Our quarterback need help, bro. I'm sick of this shit. 32nd, bro. And you don't want to get one in the first round because some random defensive player that's not going to make an instant impact when we're trying to win a playoff game now. I'm out, bro. Like, I could keep going. I'm fucking out, dog. I'm sick of y'all dumb motherfuckers, dog. Or y'all stupid people. Open your fucking eyes. We need a first-round talent running back. Unless we get something like Le Le'Veon in free agency. 313 J-Mo. I'm gone.